Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying with Jim Assure. Today we're going to tie a small UV cure fly and this is going to be a beadhead betis and the hook I have in the vise is a Maruto C46. This is a scud pupil hook. I like the nice curve on there. I have a two millimeter bead I'm on there. To start by adding a little bit a little bit extra weight and I'm going to use ten thousandths wire yeah, maybe ten wraps will be enough push that up inside there and remove the excess the thread I'm going to use is a dark brown this is a 70 denier we're going to start that thread behind the lead wraps and we're going to bring that thread back down around the bend slightly and remove that excess. We're going to start by putting a tail in. For the tail I'm going to use wood duck flank. I'm only going to use about three or four of the barbs from this. We're going to go ahead and tie them in. Then we're going to put a wrap underneath the tail. And now we're going to bring the thread up and we're going to help start to form the body of the fly. Go ahead and remove that excess. And the thread is going to be most of the body. So we're just going to wrap this all in and make sure we get a nice taper there. Spin that thread counterclockwise, flatten that out a little bit. Then I'm going to come towards the rear going to put a rib in. I'm going to use, this is just a pearl crystal flash. On flies this small, using crystal flash is probably better for the rib because you can stretch it a little bit without it breaking to make it the right size. And it's already pretty small, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap that back. Keep a nice tight wraps. And then come forward with it. And we're going to shape that body once again. Hope we get a nice body shape there. Got a little piece there I got to get covered. Let's go back and forth to make that taper. I'm going to take that crystal flash and I'm going to palmer that forward. And we're going to tie that off. And we're going to bring our thread back to the thorax. To the very back of the abdomen. Now I'm, the UV cure I'm using is Deer Creek. This is Diamond Fine UV Resin. And we're going to put a drop on there. And we're going to take our needle and we're going to spread that out over the entire body there.
take our UV light. And in just a couple of seconds, that is cured and tack free. Now for our wing case, I have a piece of uh, scud skin and I colored it with my marker. I want a dark one. Put a little dart on the end there. Then we want to make sure that comes out right on top. And bring our thread back. Now for our thorax, I'm going to use some dark beaver. Leave those guard hairs in. We're going to wrap that thorax. And now for legs, I have about a quarter inch of uh, wood duck flank. I'm going to tie them right on top. Leave them stick out going forward there. Slightly for the length of our legs. And you can see they're starting to split. Go ahead and remove that excess. And we can split the legs, bring half to each side. go ahead and trim off those couple extra. Now we'll take our wing case and fold that over. I'm going to pull that slightly. Going to pull that and trim that off. Now I'm going to take my diamond fine once again and I'm going to put a drop on there and I'm going to make sure that that drop merges with the body. And right up to the front. Go ahead and let that sink in there just a little bit. Going to give it a whip finish. Trim that off. And we're going to hit that with the UV light. And once again, in only a couple of seconds, that's going to be cured. And here we have our UV Cure Betas Nymph. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Leave comments, questions, suggestions. Please visit my sponsors. And most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.